We're very excited. We're here to do Kybella today on Todd. And if you take a look at some of the befores and afters, you see how amazing this is. Very nice. Thank you, Vanna White. Now, the cool thing, though, about Kybella is it's an injectable. Right. So you're not doing any surgery. There's no big plastic thing, no incisions. And it's really, really Are nice. Are you focusing on this? All right, stop flipping the water. That is really scary. But I mean, come take on, a look on, at this. On. Look how beautiful. And this permanently reshapes your jawline. Once again. Permanently. I mean, this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited, honey. Let's Do you go. call this a tattoo? What does it do exactly? This is a tattoo. It goes on kind of like a, a kid tattoo. Oh, like one of the lick and stick -ems. That's so I funny. Just kind of place it and see which, which way it's going to work best on each particular person. And it has little grid marks on it that will tell me not only how much Kybella would be optimal to use, but the grids help to know how far apart to put each little portion of the Kybella. That's so interesting. Studies show that you need to put it a certain certain amount and a certain distance apart to get the best result. Uh -huh. How long has this been around? It's relatively new. Um, it's been probably around a year or so, I believe. Um, and it's injectable, right? It's so there's injection. no excisions, there's no cutting, or that's right. It's all injected. It's actually a an enzyme. It's a bioidentical enzyme to what your gallbladder makes to break down the fat that you eat. And so when we inject it in, it breaks down the fat under the neck and jawline in the same way. And then your body just slowly gets rid of it in a very safe process. And it's permanent. Once it's gone, it's gone. You said that you had like huge like satisfaction ratings on this. Like People were really excited about it. Yeah, people have been loving it. They often need a couple of treatments, but they see result with every single treatment. Um, How much time does it take to see something? I've had people see result in as little as a couple of days. Wow. To a couple of weeks is when they usually start to see result. But it takes a couple of months to be at your final result. And that's one thing I wanted to ask. So this isn't like Botox where you're going to need more and more over the next six months or so. You were saying this like... This is like permanently reshapes your jawline. Correct. I yeah, mean, that's it amazing. It permanently reshapes it. As long as your weight is staying relatively stable. See, that's the part to me that's so exciting because you expect everything to be upkeep. So to have that be such an amazing result without surgery is so cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. So I'm going to inject as quickly as I can just mm -hmm. because it'll start to sting a little bit mm -hmm. as we get going, okay? That's amazing mm -hmm. that you've got the little dots and you can see where to go. So for you, we did three vials. The average is usually two. We did three, and so that's six cc's of fluid, which is quite a bit of fluid. So tonight, you'll probably, for the rest of the day and tonight, you're going to notice this area is just kind of mm -hmm. jiggly. Um, by tomorrow, that's usually gone. You'll have a little swelling. Some people can get a little bit of bruising. It's usually not bad at all. And you'll start to see results, usually within a few so, I mean, weeks. how dramatic are the results that you've seen in the past? We've seen really pretty dramatic results. People have been really happy even after the first treatment. I mean, even for people who have a more significant um, amount of volume there under the neck, who you know, will need a second treatment, they're still really happy with what they're seeing after the first treatment. It's nice because a lot of cosmetic procedures is kind of like a subtle result. You're like, okay, I can kind of see, that's nice. But right. this seems a lot more dramatic. Yeah, it generally is. And for people who are retreating, we can do that as early as about six weeks. So if they know they want a second treatment, they can do it that early or they can wait do it any time after six weeks. You know, it's interesting because a facelift, I'm trying to think, I mean, it's like a good eight weeks before you're fully recovered and you kind of know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of bruising and it's really, really noticeable and it's noticeable for a long time. Right. And this doesn't have, I mean, anything that you have afterwards isn't really noticeable after what, a week or so? Generally, yeah. Most people have swelling for a few days to a week, maybe two weeks, but... The first couple days are going to be the worst. 
some people have so little that people don't people around them don't even notice that they've done anything um, until a couple of weeks later we get a lot of comments patients saying family members you know if you have you lost weight what are you doing something looks a little different about you only a couple weeks after that's, having this done so. you know that's funny because you're right a double chin is one of those things that makes you look like you're 10 pounds heavier right kind of and right. it's just a double chin but mm -hmm. And it can be there for a lot of reasons. I mean, some people, they have a, a weight issue in general, but for others it could be genetic. It's just where they happen to hold some extra fat. And, and it makes a big difference in their overall face and, and neck shape to just have that tightened up. The skin actually will tighten up as the fat goes away. So you're not left with hanging skin That's a big question. after the fat is gone. Yeah, a lot of people were anxious about that. That's a big question of like, well, what am I going to be stuck with?